so let's talk about pacifiers. So, so what are pacifiers? Pacifiers are silicon rubbers that have made that look like a nipple. And they've been used for many years, for the last 400 years, I was reading, that um, they have been used. Okay? And for a long time, people thought that uh, they really don't have any effects. And uh, recently, there has been studies that have shown that there are, there are a few effects to your teeth of using pacifiers. So for the most part, pacifiers are safe. Okay? The only thing is that you need to know to buy the correct brand. You don't want something that will, will have any chemicals painted on it that is toxic to the child. You don't want something that can easily break okay, and choke your child. So you want something that has been tried and tested, something that is uh, sturdy and when the child sucks on it, it doesn't uh, uh, break or crack. Okay? So uh, most parents will use them and they are successful in calming down children. Now, the thing is, this is what I, I advise parents. Try and win off your child a, 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 a pacifier. First of all, don't introduce it too early because there is something they call nipple confusion where the child can't tell between the breast and the, nip and the pacifier. So you'll find you, a mother will put the baby on the breast but the baby is not circling because they're thinking they have the pacifier because they're confused. Okay? So don't introduce it too early. Okay? Introduce it gradually and a bit later after the child has known how to breastfeed. That's number one. Number two, uh, make sure you win off the pacifier uh, by 12 months of age for two reasons. One, uh, by the time the child is 12 months, they're learning how to talk and saying their first words. So some people will say because the child always has the pacifier in the mouth, they do not, they're not able to, uh, it interferes with their speech. That's number one. Number two, I have seen studies that have been shown of uh, children with, who have pacifiers are, are uh, at a higher risk of getting uh, middle ear infections, recurrent middle ear infections. Number three, it's a very difficult habit to kill. So if you're, the earlier you kill it, the better. I have seen five-year-olds with pacifiers, which is not good, okay? So uh, do pacifiers have an effect on your teeth? The answer is yes, and this is how. Now, there's a study that they did, and they compared children who had their pacifiers um, uh, withdrawn at age of 12 months, others who had their, their pacifiers withdrawn at the age of 24 months, and others who had their pacifiers withdrawn at the age of 36 months. Now, the ones who had their pacifiers withdrawn at 36 months, which is three years, uh, had what we call open bites. Open bite is when you have your teeth at the front don't meet. I don't know, I'm sure you've seen people with their, when they bite with their back teeth, uh, you, the teeth at the front actually don't meet. That's called we call an open bite. Okay, and some children all, uh, had also what we call cross bites. A cross bite is when, on the side of the mouth, when you bite, the upper teeth uh, don't overlap the lower teeth. Okay, so they, they saw children had cross bites and open bites, uh, and also they had reduced uh, uh, dimension of the jaw, what we call the arch size. Okay, so. That is a reason why I, I, I mean I recommend do not have the pacifier uh, for for long. Uh, yes, just win off the child for for some time. Win it off completely. By the time the child is uh, uh, after one year, year one year of age, they should not be having a pacifier with them. Mm -hmm.